Let's take a look at the loonie today. The Canadian dollar was up a little bit, 0.11 of a cent to close at 97.25 cents U.S. That's after plunging five cents last week. To help us sort out exactly what is happening with the Canadian dollar, and we'll take a look at the economy overall, Tom Vassos is here. He's business professor at the University of Toronto. Just in time. Yes. So we're all feeling good today about where we could be heading, but you're saying that this could be short-lived. Well, in the short term, if we start heading down the path of a potential double-dip recession, both mm -hmm. Canada, U.S., and maybe other countries around the world, as last time we talked a couple of years ago when we hit the 08-09 recession, there was a lot of downward pricing pressure on commodities. Oil, if you recall, hit down to $35, $40 per barrel. That caused Looney to suffer because right. we are viewed as a resource-based economy. So, in fact, if that happens again and there's downward pressure on those commodity prices, it would likely hit the Canadian dollar. And, and that's the important thing for people to remember is what it, we have a petrol currency, is that how it's referred to? That when oil goes down, so does the loonie. So, where do you think the loonie is going then in the next few days? We saw it go up just a smidgen today, but that was encouraging for some people that like to see a strong dollar. I think that should be a two-part question because where is it going in the short term and mm -hmm. if there's a higher than likely chance of moving into a double dip recession there's likely in the short term a lot more room on the downside but in the long term if you look at Canada as a country our debt to GDP ratios, uh, the fact that resources are going to be demanded in the world in the decades to come, right. then long term we are positioned very well. So if, if people have that longer term view and can hold on that much longer, you're likely to see a, a, a better upside in the Canadian dollar. We hear a lot about a double dip recession. Is that where you feel we're going? Yeah. It looks likely. I mean, many of the economists out there are suggesting that it, that it is likely all of the turmoil with what's happening in Europe, with Greece defaulting, they're going to default in one form or another, what, whatever that form takes. And all of that uncertainty is what's really causing that upheaval in the, in the marketplace. And that's just one more thing that businesses are looking towards to say, we're still unsure where things are heading, so we're not going to make the investments. We're not going to hire more people. So there's that, that edginess of, of moving forward. So perhaps I'm simplifying it too much, but if we fix the problems with Greece, will, will we have some stability at that point? And why can't we fix the problems with Greece? There, there is no short-term fix. They, they are uh, a great deal of money in, in debt. Their debt-to-GDP ratio is 140%. Other European countries are 90 to 130 percent debt to GDP ratios. Wow. So this is deep. It's not just about one country. Greece is only two or three percent of all the, the GDP in Europe. So once Greece is taken care of, eyes then turn to Spain and Italy to say, okay, well now maybe we should maybe we should be getting more for our bonds as we loan money to these countries. And that starts to rise the price of, of bonds in those countries as well. So the 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 reaction by the governments has to be significant, it has to be decisive, there has to be multiple countries involved, not just Europe, but other countries, North America potentially, maybe even China and other countries in Asia, that help to solve the problem, because this, this is quite a big problem. It is a big problem, and, and generally we feel confident here, um, because our economy has been strong. What is your advice for investors in the short term. I hear what you're saying about the long term with the need for commodities, but how do we ride out the ne these next few right. volatile weeks and months? Well, my dad always said, buy, buy low and sell high. You can't do the opposite now when things tank a little bit and then all of a sudden sell those paper losses. So it's really that panic that locks in those losses. So one piece of advice could be look at things longer term. Is this the right place to be? Is this the right country with the right situation behind us, the right set of resources that are going to be in demand, and if so, you then potentially ride it out. So that's right one out. potential piece of advice. Stay calm. Exactly. Tom Bassos, thank you very much for being with us tonight. Appreciate it. Good thank chat. You.